Hi everybody, welcome to another evening with Sips. Tonight, we're gonna play some Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Oh man, I love these games. I love the first one, I love the second one. I played the shit out of them. Uh, the third one, I bought, I had the disc for it somewhere. I uh, lost it, I mean, it came out years ago. Uh, I played it a bit, I didn't play it nearly enough uh, as the uh, the first and the second one uh, for some reason, uh, but I remember it being really fun. So here we are. We're gonna try it again. A lot of people recommend uh, that I play this uh, and always ask me to play it. So we'll give it a try. We're gonna try it on an evening with sips. Uh, if you like this and you'd like to see more, uh, leave a like and a comment. The, the usual stuff with the evening with sips, and we can see uh, about maybe making it into a series. Uh, if not, enjoy this one-off of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. I've got the platinum edition. Uh, I bought it off Steam, uh, which means that I have the uh, soaked and the uh, wild add-on packs. I have no idea what they offer. Um, I'm quite happy just playing like the vanilla game and then maybe coming on to these uh, later on and checking them out. Uh, fine, everything should be ready to go. Uh, there's some really fantastic music playing in the background. It's getting me really pumped uh, for making the best theme park of all time. Man, I'm really looking forward to this, actually. Great. Uh, career mode. You want to do career mode, sandbox mode, custom scenario, tutorial mode? Let's do career mode. We'll start in career mode and see how we do. Uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 with a waving panda. Oh my god, shit. You can make like a zoo and like a... Oh my god, look at this, like a water park and stuff. Fuck, that's awesome. Great. We can make like the Top Gun ride from Canada's Wonderland from like 80 years ago. Uh, of course I would remember that uh, because I've been on it before. I don't know if it still exists or not. Uh, it was pretty wild though at the time. Holy shit. Uh, fine. Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Uh, select a career uh, Select a career or create a new one. Okay, we're gonna create a new career. Player 1. That's me. Uh, what do we want? Do we- oh shit. There's only one man that I can think of uh, that could possibly run an amusement park for us. And it's none other than Ron Johnson. <laughs> the best. The CEO of whatever we're going to call our new theme park. Ron Johnson. Look at this. This is great. I can't wait. Okay, perfect. Uh, we're ready. Ron Johnson, let's do it. We're going to do it. We're ready to go. Vanilla Hills. Oh, shit. Look at all these. you got to, like complete all of these. Look at all these different scenarios. Oh shit, I remember all this now. Okay, it's all flooding back to me. Great. We'll start with Vanilla Hills. The Vanilla Hills are the starting point on your meteoric or not rise to Roller Coaster Tycoon status. Can you turn this plot into the peeps talk of the town? Your rating as apprentice, entrepreneur, or tycoon depends on it. Oh shit, I think we can do it. We're gonna start a new game in Vanilla Hills. See how we do. Are you sure you want to start? Yes, I'm sure. Oh shit, look at this. It's got a lot of resources to load, apparently. It's got a whole bunch of like stuffed pandas to add into the game so that you can uh, you can sell them in multitudes to, uh, to all the um, slobbering masses that are going to come into the Vanilla Hills theme park. I think we're going to have to rename that uh, if we can. That would be great. We want to have like a theme going, Vanilla Hills. I, I don't know if you can actually have a vanilla theme going. Maybe you can just have like a whole bunch of, um, I don't know, vanilla extract bottles just around everywhere. Okay, Apprentice, we need 400 guests in the park and we need a minimum park value of 20 grand. Oh shit. Uh, the condition can be achieved at any time. Now, if we want to get Entrepreneur, we need to have 60 grand uh, and 500 guests. Uh, that can be achieved at any time. And Gold, oh, this is, uh, this is like probably going to be the easiest one. We can maybe get Gold. Look at this, 600 guests in the park and 100 grand park value. This should be no problem. Great. Excellent. It's the 4th of March. It's year one. The time is ticking away. How many guests are in the park so far? There's 300 people in here already. Look at this. What are all these people doing? They're just walking around, having a nice time. Look, they're going on this, like, rip-roaring tumbler. Oh, shit. Yeah, I remember. You can make, like, the big snaking cues, and you can name all the rides and stuff. Oh, this is going to be fucking great. I'm really looking forward to Oh, shit. Look at this one. It's like a little baby ride with airplanes and stuff. Oh, look. Look, it's like novelty little airplanes with propellers and stuff. Oh, look at all the little kids and the parents coming off. Ah, oh, the little guys look really cool. Look at that. Oh, shit, look, they're so happy. They've got Atari shirts on. What a bunch of bastards. Okay, fine. Vanilla Hills. We, we can rename our park. Oh, 
I used to always like rename my parks to things like like Slayer Hills and stuff like that because like I I just had like all these like amazing rides that killed people and made them puke and stuff. Uh, it was pretty good. Uh, this is our very first park, uh, so we want to we want to start some sort of trend with naming our parks. We've got Ron Johnson in to manage our park. Uh, can we call it like uh, let's call it Sip Sipsco World? It'll be like Disney World, but it's like Sipsco themed, so there'll just be like lots of dirt laying around and lots of really shitty um, stores that sell really bad computer games that we've made in the past, amongst other things. Great. Sipsco World it is then. Land management, status, value ratings and attendance graphs, marketing campaigns and awards. I remember all of this now. Uh, excellent. Buy land for the park. Uh, buy easement rights on land not owned by the park. Oh, shit. Okay, that's going to be a bit advanced. All right, fine. Sipsco World is open for business. Look at this. Oh, do we want to have it like Sipsco World? Yes, with an exclamation mark. Even better. Even better. So when people come here, they know... Sipsco World is in business. Uh, where's all of our staff? We need, like, janitors and stuff. Do we have enough janitors? View controls? No. I don't need any of that stuff. Park management. Is it in park management? It must be. Here we go. Staff. We got it. We've got one janitor. Janitor one. He's watering. The best janitor. The first janitor. We've got a park inspector and a mechanic. Okay, fine. Uh, do we need to see, like, what routes they're on? Oh, look, there he is. Just moping around down there. What a bastard. Uh, what's this? Click here to select alternative top clothing and lower clothing. Oh, shit. That's really cool. Uh, the staff member's patrol area. So where is he patrolling right now? And can we add more? Oh, yeah. Okay. See, look. We can add patrol areas. Or if he has no patrol area, I think he'll just, like, wander aimlessly around the park uh, cleaning up random puddles of puke. Fantastic. Okay, great. Janitor 1, you're doing a great job. Uh, we can close this now. And uh, actually, you can just get out of here, Janitor 1. Okay. Uh, this ride seems to be doing... Uh, well, who's that? Bob Belch? the hell, Bob Belch? Uh, let's see if we can find out more about this ride. Uh, the thoughts of the guests. I want to go on High Flyer again. High Flyer. Oh, shit. Finances. Admission price is £2.50 to go on the High Flyer. Projected income is 1760 per hour. 200 bucks running cost uh, per hour. And uh, it's going to make a projected profit of £1,559.68 per hour for a total profit of £190. It doesn't really seem worth it, but to be fair, it is kind of a crampy ride. Uh, we can open or close it. We can change the vehicles and stuff. Let's leave High Flyer as it is. Let's try to get a new ride set up uh, to wow people as they come through the front gate. Look at this. They're going to enter Sipsco World, and they're going to come into this area. Look down here. We can like just bombard them with like shops and stuff. We can make like a cool merchant area and then have like a cool ride sort of like uh, pounding away in the background. That might be nice. Rides. Great. Uh, what what do we want? Oh look, we can make we can make animal enclosures and stuff. Oh shit, that might be nice. Look at this: pool slides and rides, transport rides, gentle. Oh shit, transport rides. Oh my god, that reminds me of this time I made a park where I had like a one-way monorail so that people would come into the park, go onto the monorail. It would take them to the actual park, but it would never let them leave again. And people were just like puking and dying and running out of money and stuff. It was pretty good. Uh, do we want like an intense ride, a thrill ride, junior ride or a roller coaster? Let's get a thrill ride. Let's get like one of these things. Oh, look, Enterprise, Sky Sling, Top Spin we've already got. Okay. Uh, let's get a chair swing. Look at this. 502 pounds. People sit in suspended seats, which are swung around the central pole. Ooh. Great. Look at the size of this thing. Jesus. Uh, let's build it like... Do we want to build it like back here so that we can have just like this massive queue? Or do we want to build it sort of like here maybe? Or here? Have the queue come around and then when they come out, we'll have like toilets that they have to pay like 10 pounds to use. Because like they're inevitably going to want to like use the toilet. Okay, fine. Great. New attraction. Safari train. Oof. A safari train. <laughs> can you imagine? Okay, we want the entrance to be here. Uh, let's, uh, do the queue thing. I think you have to, like, do it like this. Uh, where is it? Down here, possibly? Oh, look at this. Adventure-themed ride exit. Oh, yeah, okay, the exit. Uh, do we want this one? Standard exit? Probably. 
We'll have the exit uh, over here. Well, let them exit there. Oh, look at this. This is fantastic. God, this is so good. Fuck, I, uh, it's all flooding back to me, and this is great. Okay, so this must be paths, or is it queues? Where's the queues? It's not paths. Uh, it's right here. Q path. There we go. We've got a Q path. Uh, we want it to snake around like... He oh, perfect. Look at that. A huge snaking queue. That's excellent. Uh, can we make it... Oh, shit. I didn't want to do that. Can we make it look a bit better with, like, uh, some different uh, colors and stuff? Generic. I think we can only have generic. Okay, fine. Uh, that, that'll do, I guess. Pig for now. Uh, that's the entrance. We can put, like, TVs and a bunch of shit so that people can watch stuff and they can watch other people barfing on this thing. Do we want to, like, test it out? Vehicles. 36 guests per ride. Holy crap, that's nuts. Uh, what about details? No music. Oh, we definitely want some music. Let's have funky disco music for this one. Uh, do we want to call this chair swing? No. We want to call it, uh, disco... Inferno, uh, because we've got funky disco playing. Uh, I mean, it has nothing to do with a disco or an inferno, but still, we'll call it Disco Inferno. Uh, choose a fence for the ride? Mmm, look at this. Oh, this is great. Look, we can have, like, really crappy wooden fences, and then people will not trust uh, wooden uh, Disco Inferno. We can have, like, this chain thing going, or just this scaffolding which looks kind of well it doesn't look as bad as uh like this pine wood which looks like something out, out of half-life <laughs> jesus what about this one that's even worse oh my god it looks like you, you've just arrived at like uncle buck's farm and he's just so happens to have a 36 seater chair swing called disco inferno out in a field uh separated by like these really crappy fences let's stick with this quick fence <laughs> i think quick fence will do fine uh, can we change the color of it? Yeah, let's do it. Let's make it purple. Oh, fantastic. This is looking great already. Um, do we want to choose colors for the queue? Yes, this is where we do it. Let's make these purple and stuff as well. Oh, look. Oh, this is great. I love all the options. I love how you can just make stuff stuff look like fantastically retarded in this game like look at how pink that is <laughs> great uh choose an entrance for the ride attraction we've already done that uh we've got an exit as well change whether the ride has a sign over its cues oh we can take the sign off i think we want the sign on though uh locate this on the main view fine press enter for coaster cam we don't need to do that uh we want to uh go into uh yeah there we go. Finances. And let's charge people, I don't know, like two pounds per ride on this Disco Inferno. Just because it's called Disco Inferno. Uh, maintenance. 100% uh, reliable. Inspection every 30 minutes. That should be fine. Perfect. Great. Let's pack them in. Oh, shit. Is it complaining about what, the exit here? Oh, no, it's not. Okay. I, I think it's because I accidentally uh, clicked on the entrance thing. We don't need that. Get rid of this entrance thing. Fine. Uh, and we can open it up. We're ready to go. Disco Inferno is now fully operational. Is anyone going to queue up to go on Disco Inferno? Only time will tell. The music does not seem to be playing. No? Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> you just have to zoom in very close to listen to the music of Disco Inferno. Wow. Look at this guy. He's all over it. What's his name? His name is... Oh, shit. We're not going to know. We might have to, like, click on him here. What's he thinking? I love you. Where are all the rides? I love my partner. This park is really tidy. I'm in a rush. Jesus. I think he, I think he might need to calm down a bit. Oh, look at this. Look at all these people. Look at all these little kids coming onto this. Alex K and Sammy K. Two brothers going on Disco Inferno. Oh shit, look at here we go. Here come the Bazingas. The big ones. They're 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 flowing in. Ron Johnson is just like rubbing his hands together. We've done it. Already. My god. Alright, let's make them buy stuff now too. Uh, as soon as they get off Disco Inferno, we want them to be able to like take a shit straight away, which would be good. Uh, so here we go. Toilets. Oh, look at these toilets. Oh, look, these toilets have, like, these weird, like, stall things. And it's, like, one of these self-cleaning ones, I think. It's like a like a turbo toilet. Let's put it, like, in, in the corner here uh, so that we can stink up this nice nature path park bit. Great. Uh, okay, fine. We're going to uh, go into finances. Do we want to have an admission price on the toilets? 
probably not. That might be a bit of a dick move, actually. <laughs> I would love to, though. Uh, we can rename these toilets, though. Look, you don't have to settle for Toilets 1 to be the name of the toilets. You can actually call it, like I said, Turbo Toilet 2000. Look at that. Fucking tons of room for a name in there. Uh, we can call a mechanic to the ride straight away. We don't need to. We're going to open Turbo Toilet 2000. And we're going to get all over this. Look at this. Now people can come in here and take a nice relaxing shit after they're done riding on Disco Inferno. And look at these people. Holy crap. Look, they're having such a good time. Listen to them all screaming their butts off. Like their mouths are wide open on this chair swing. There's probably like a ton of bugs going into their mouth because they can't keep their mouths closed because it's so exciting i think you can actually like when you close the ride you can adjust like how fast it is and intense it is and stuff and it'll be more attractive to people holy shit look at these two guys go my god they can't wait here we go disco inferno ladies and gentlemen it's it's a thing it's up and running we need a petting zoo i think people would love a petting zoo no oh listen the music gets like super loud when you look at it from this angle uh, but then not so loud from this angle. It's kind of weird. Okay, fine. Uh, what do we want to do now? A petting zoo. Can we fit some stuff in here? Do we want to get like a burger s s like store or something in here? Drinks. Maybe people will be like really parched after they're done. Oh shit, look at all this. We can go like for a theme as well. Paradise Island. Sipsco World could be like a Paradise Island. Oh, look at this. It's rotated. It's now in place. Uh, let's see. Sold items. Can of soda for 80 pence. That's a lot. Uh, do we want to have uh, ice? Add ice to your can of soda? No. Add a lemon slice to your can of soda? No. Uh, how about ice in the water, though? And maybe a, a slice of lemon in the water. Vanilla milkshake. Ice cream? No. Let's have a vanilla, vanilla milkshake without ice cream. That makes no sense. We definitely have to do that. Uh, what's this? Fruit pieces. Some. Do you want fruit pieces to be added to the fruit juice? And ice to the fruit juice. Yes. Okay, fine. And fruit pieces as well. We're going, we're going up market with all this. We can synchronize stalls of this type. Great. That's perfect. Uh, let's charge people more for stuff. Let's make them like 90 pence, a one pound 30. What's that? One pound 30 and one pound 30 as well. Great. Okay, excellent. We're good to go. We're good to open up drink stall. Actually, should we uh, rename it though? Details, drinks one. Let's call this one the uh, ice, ice cream, ice cream less uh, shakes. There we go. We're calling it the ice creamless shakes, even though the shakes do have ice cream in them. We're just going to confuse people uh, because we can. Great. Open for business. Who wants drinks? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody cues. Just as I say that, I'm trying to be like all excitable and like attract people uh, to, to the drink stall, but they don't seem to. Holy shit, look at this guy. Who's this? Is that the inspector? What's going on? Statistics. Employed. Oh, he is employed. Tasks. He's evaluating flat rides, roller coasters, and everything. Details. His name is just Park Inspector. That will not do. Uh, Park Inspector, we are going to call you Eugene Smith, the greatest Park Inspector of all time. Look at this. Uh, we can toggle a highlight above this person. Does that work? No. Uh, do we want to send this person's thoughts to the console? No. But look, we can move him though. Here, Eugene, look at this. I've got a magical set of tweezers that I can just like plop you down here and you can uh, inspect the path. And also these guys' asses, I, I guess. It, were you just looking at those guys' asses? I'm not sure about that, Eugene. Could be some trouble for you in the future. Not sure. Great. Okay, Disco Inferno is up and running. Fantastic. We have a drinks stall and we have a toilet uh, that people seem to be using. What are the stats on this toilet? We need to see. Uh, finances. We're not making any money off of. Uh, details. Turbo toilet. Guest thoughts. Nobody thinks anything about this. Customers. 192 people are using this toilet every hour. That's nuts. It's 40% popular and rising. Satisfaction is uh, cruising along at 66%. Uh, but actually, total customers has only been 27, and it was built this year. Uh, okay, great. Fine. Uh, one successful toilet, if nothing else, in Sipsco world, uh, which is great. Wow, fantastic. Great. What about this ride? What's this one doing? And what's it even called? We might need to rename this one. Oh shit, there's a bit of puke on the ground here. Somebody got way too overexcited and decided to uh, puke 
uh, at the entrance of Tumblr. Tumblr? What the hell? Who names a ride Tumblr? God, that's ridiculous. Finances. It's at two bucks to get on this, and it's making 468 bucks total profit. That's not bad. Uh, people's thoughts. I hope it's not too scary. Stan K. Roy N. said that he enjoyed Tumblr, along with Joffrey S. or Jeffrey. Uh, Beverly N. and uh, and jo and Jeff or Joff B. has said, here goes nothing. Oh, what's a towering coaster? Oh my god. It's crazy. Oh, look at this. Rock like a dude. What does rock like a dude sound like? Oh, shit. This is the best song in the whole game. Listen to this one. Look at these people. Look, this guy's got an afro, and so does his brother back here. Clearly enjoying themselves on Tumblr. Great. Um, fine. I don't think we need to do anything with Tumblr. I think it's... I think it's as good as it's going to get. It's one of the ones that came with the park. Uh, Disco Inferno is our own uh, creation. Is it doing well? What do people think? Ha ha. That's it. That's what they think about uh, Disco Inferno. I can't tell if they're actually laughing because it's so shit or if because they actually enjoyed it. Okay, fine. Uh, while that's up and running then, let's uh, build something else. Great. Rides. What kind of rides do we want? An enclosure. What? What is an enclosure? I've never seen this. Enclosure construction, animal houses, viewing galleries, and animal enrichment items. Wooden fence, chain fence, electric fence. Oh shit, this is so cool. Enclosure construction. Let's make like some sort of animal enclosure here. Oh look. Oh, this is fucking fantastic. Okay, we're gonna put like an animal pen back here. What's okay, what's this? This is an animal house. What can we have? A carnivore house for grizzly bears, leopards, lions, panthers, polar bears, and tigers. Uh, with this fencing setup, not likely. <laughs> Elephant house, an ape house, chimp, gorilla, mandrel. You, you can just imagine people getting like mauled to death by uh, furious apes. What about this? A small herbivore house for horses, kangaroos, ostriches, gazelles, and zebras. I mean, I was just thinking, like, goats. There's no goats? Maybe small herbivore? Uh, oh, shit! Look at the size of this thing! I don't know what I was expecting, actually. I thought maybe it would just be, like, a small little thing that would fit back here, but no. Uh, it turns out that, actually, you need, like, a lot of space to place one of these things. Christ almighty! Where the hell can we put this thing? Let's turn it around and see. Can Will it even fit in here? God, there's not going to be much room for them to like gallop around and prance around and wow all of the uh, all of the people uh, at all, actually. And I think it needs to be like connected to a fence or something. Can we actually place this like maybe back here or something? Does it need to be like on a road and serviceable? I really want to have like some sort of like uh, heavy petting zoo. I think that'd be great. Uh, I can't place it, so maybe I need to like place it close to um, enclosures. Okay, fine. We'll make a really big enclosure here. Uh, like not close to the road and then we can like maybe expand it out to the road after i don't know we'll see can we capture some of these trees in the enclosure as well oh nice okay great uh horses then will it fit in here oh you have to put it inside okay i get it you have to put it inside all right perfect we'll put it in here then small herbivore house one. Oh shit look at this guy's coming out to like tend the the pastures and stuff. That's fantastic. Uh, okay, let's expand this out then a little bit. Uh, and maybe even down here a bit too, so that these people, when they come out, can uh, take a look at some fine, majestic uh, stallions straight away, uh, who hopefully will not gallop over this small, rickety wooden fence. Do you think these people are enjoying this already? Maybe? Uh, viewing galleries. What does this do? A small, medium, or large viewing gallery? Oh, shit! Oh, that's so fucking cool! Look at this! Oh, look, they can really get in here and like, take a look. Okay, fine. Viewing gallery. Oh, look at That is fantastic. Is there a fence down? Okay, yeah, great. So they can actually go in the bottom bit, too. Ah, uh, that's so fucking cool. And what's all this shit? A dummy, an ice meat block, a tire, a rock. Stronger animals enjoy throwing around this durable stone. This is so great. Look at all this shit is nuts. A ball. I don't think we need anything uh, for this though right now. Do we have like any horses or anything? What's this? A feeding schedule and details. Okay, let's call this one like, uh, if it's gonna be just horses, let's call it like horse, horse mania 
three three thousand. <laughs> there we go. Horse mania three three thousand. I don't see any horses though. Maybe we have to buy some horses. Uh, I think you have to do that here. Is it purchase animals? There we go. Oh shit. We need an electric fence for what, most of these, but look, we can actually get a horse. A male horse, it's gonna cost us 90 bucks. Or do we want a male baby horse for 112? Oh my god! This is so good! This is so good! Oh, look at this, we're gonna drop it in here! Here we go! We got a horse! Haha, <laughs> look! There he is! Do we want a male baby horse too? There we go, we're gonna make a family of horses. Let's get a female horse here too, and maybe these guys can like get it on and make more babies. We're gonna have a ton of horses. Holy shit, this was so worth it. Uh, what else can we get away with with a, just like a wooden fence? Chain fence, a camel. Do camels and horses mix well? 300 bucks for this, holy fuck. Is it worth it? I mean, we've called this thing Horse Mania 3000, and actually there's only three horses. Let's just leave it at horses for now. Holy crap, look at these majestic horses. Can we change the name? Oh, look at this. Holly the horse. Who's this? Homer the horse. And Helga, hopefully. Is this Helga? Hasim! They all have names that start with H. It's like a miracle. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is so good. Oh, that was so worth it. Uh, can this make any money at all? No. I think it's... What's the feeding schedule? Normal. 25 bucks per oh, per refill. Okay, fine. Call a keeper to refill this shelter's food. Perfect. Oh my god. Horse Mania 3000 is just the highlight of Sipsco World right now. Fuck. Custom stall with billboard. Oh shit, there's so many fucking options in this game. This is fantastic. Jesus Christ, I forgot like how much you can like totally micromanage the shit out of an amusement park. Okay, so how are we doing? There's 317 bastards in the park right now. We've got 8,788 uh, bucks. Well, 787 bucks now. Maintenance costs are causing it to come down. Uh, can we take a look at our finances? Yes. Look at this. We've got a loan of five grand. Uh, we've got a lot of money. Can we pay back some of the loan eventually? Probably, uh, which would be good. Oh my God, our park value is uh, 18,218. We still have some... Uh, some ways to go and our company value is 21,992 great oh my god fuck this is great okay perfect we seem to be uh, doing okay we could do with making some more money man there's a lot of people waiting to go on tumblr we might need to snake this queue around a little bit maybe when it's not so busy we can close it and like make this just this massive like hellish snaking queue all the way around here and back that might be nice uh, there's, of course, uh, two majestic stallions uh, in statue format here, uh, right next to Horse Mania 3000. So uh, if guests ever get lost and they're trying to figure out where the fuck the horses are, they'll know if they're close to these uh, statues. So actually, that worked out perfectly. I didn't even put those there. They were just there. We've also got this pissing statue, but uh, I don't think it's actually pissing, no. It's a woman holding a jug. And listen to this fantastic music. I mean, if you're in here just trying to enjoy your lunch or whatever, watching this woman uh, endlessly uh, dump water out of this jug into a fountain, you're in for a real treat. You'll be rocking it uh, all summer long, uh, which is great. All right, perfect, great. So far, so good. Uh, we haven't really done too much. I'm just sort of getting, uh, I'm re-familiarizing myself with the game because it's been so long. Uh, but Sipsco World seems to be doing okay. Um, Let's wrap up there. That's probably long enough uh, to see uh, what we think uh, of this game. Uh, let me know. If you want to see more of this, uh, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know. Uh, if, it's, if it's popular enough and people want to see more of this, uh, by all means, we can carry on playing. Uh, it is a fun game, and like I said, I've had uh, lots of fun with the previous versions of this game. Uh, and this one uh, is, is probably going to be much the same. I love making rides and naming them uh, and making money and um, running a uh, amusement park. It's like one of my life uh, ambitions to make my own amusement park one day. So if I could do it in a PC game as well uh for now that that would be great as well good okay great as usual thanks for watching and uh i'll see you soon